Hi all, I have an absolutely amazing game to show you today. Boot version 6.3 versus Leela. This is the best of the 10 network. This is in the Chesscom Rapid uh, Tournament. 30 minutes with a 5 second increment. So 2018, let's have a look. D4 from Boot, we have Knight F6, C4, E6, Knight F3. D5, so Queen's Gambit declined, but now actually delayed accepted variation. Black taking that pawn, you know, being a bit greedy maybe. Knight C3, A6, as though to hold on to the pawn. Now perhaps A4 should be played, just to guarantee that this pawn's not going to be protected in some weird and wonderful way. This has been seen before with Knight C6 and played quite a bit. However, in this game we have E3, allowing Black to play b5 and the assumption is this is a bit shaky this structure because of the undermining move a4 and ordinarily i'd agree that black's being a bit too clingy here and maybe should be punished but uh leela plays c6 a takes c takes and white employs the tactic knight takes b5 which you might think is perfectly sensible However, look at the nuances of this position. This bishop is out here on g5, which makes this diagonal a bit more dangerous. So black actually, Leela actually sacrifices the exchange with a takes. So rook takes and employs this check. And this is a little bit awkward for white. White forfeits casting rights with king e2. If we look at the crucial alternative, knight d2, it seems bishop b7 gains a tempo and protects the knight and say this e5 seems to be a move which has been favored in over the board chess here and this is thought to be okay for black for example this is fairly pleasant for black blacks at least equalized here with an even position uh, so and there's also uh, h6 for example and this also seems as if white has to do this kind of gambit to untangle it seems at least even there's great compensation here so anyway king e2 though was played here and we have bishop b7 the rook goes to a7 and now bishop d5 keeping an eye on this diagonal which is kind of tying white down discouraging moves like g3 which would weaken the diagonal potentially uh, an alternative queen b6 white's might actually be interested in a counter exchange sack then taking on f6 to be able to play g3 and kind of unravel but here actually bishop d5 is keeping the pressure on and keeping the kind of virtual pin on on this diagonal pins kind of configuration we have rook going all the way back to a1 this doesn't seem like a move to be too scared about we have black casting knight e1 Knight c6 putting pressure on the center. Knight c2. We have h6. Now, here, bishop h4, pardon me, bishop h4 was played. An alternative, let's look at the forcing alternative knight takes. Does it do white any favors? Probably not after knight d3. This looks like a mighty kind of octopus knight. So, bishop h4 was played. Bishop e7 unpinning that relative pin so f3 but now f3 does have some consequences here it's weakening that diagonal and queen b6 is really emphasizing the pressure on this d4 pawn bishop g3 b4 again this idea is also weakening white's control of d4 what is going on here king f2 rook c8 Bishop e2 and now knight a5 and this looks kind of menacing that this knight will go potentially to b3 now as well. Rook c1, the bishop drops back and a very awkward looking move, knight a1. Knights generally on the corner, they don't have too much activity so this is not a move to be taken lightly. Knight d5 and here things get super interesting. So black uh, has got a nice compensation for the exchange at the moment. Uh, if we count pawns, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. So one 
pawn for the exchange. And after e4, there's a remarkable conception played here in this position. Can you guess what Leela plays if I give you five seconds to pull the video? Okay. Leela basically goes, in, in effect, a whole rook down, collecting though another couple of pawns to make it three pawns for the rook, basically, after this move. So with huge pressure on d4 here, white takes and black takes on d4, it takes on d4 and takes on d5, cementing this pawn on c4, reinforcing that. So there's potentially great connected past pawns here, which Leela loves, as we know. B3, the knight was <laughs> not very inspiring and now one of its key squares has also been taken away, leaving it with one active square after b3. Not very inspiring. By the way, just before we move on from here, on h3, there was remarkably knight takes e3 and rook d8. This position is also very, very promising for black. For example, like this, black smashes through on that d4 square, which emphasizes the huge pressure and, and tactical uh, implications of that. So a quiet move like h3 is, is punishable, even with knight takes e3 there. So, okay, so e4, this brilliant bishop f6, bishop takes d4 check, e takes d5, we have b3. Bishop a6 now. Leader is willing to potentially simplify knight c2. Knight takes b3. So there's three connected pass pawns now for the rook. But if we look at this rook, it's also not the greatest rook in the history of chess on h1 here. Uh, it's not out and about. And in the meantime, in the shorter term, these protected past pawns look absolutely lethal. Knight takes c1, getting the most material here. Queen takes, queen takes d4. So a bishop down now instead of a rook down, basically, for three connected past pawns. And white is so desperate here plays queen d1 which basically guarantees a very very bad end game if white plays bishop f2 the queen could drop back for example this looks like i know a pointless move but let's have a look uh just exchanging off the bishops and then crashing down with b3 and c2 the pawns are unstoppable so uh queen d1 it's a very miserable position after c3 check with c2 coming so here, yeah, if bishop e2, there's c2 uh, in any case. So c2, and although it's opposite kind of bishops, uh, there's enough pawns here to cause a lot of damage, especially with the active rook winning g2 as well. Uh, this pawn can be reinforced, and now this pawn can be taken after the check, and this that pawn can be taken, leaving Leela three pawns up. And that is pretty heavy weight even this even in this opposite color bishop scenario it cannot save white here this is too far gone too much material so here let's have a look at the technique Leela brings up her king and the pawns are crashing down really on both sides of the board now the bishop is totally helpless the bishop and king can't really help this situation and let's see Leela's fine trolling technique in action so with a sense of humor uh, under promoting a rook giving away one of the queens giving away the other queen knowing that this is a table base win and delivering the chatmate in fine leela style another remarkable leela game uh, new revelations in the queen's gamut accepted the fun to be had when grabbing the pawn and holding on to it losing the exchange and then yeah, fantastic compensation there. I hope you massively enjoyed this game. And there should be a box appearing on the top left if you want to become a member at chessworld.net to play against other YouTubers. You can also check the analysis of this and other games uh, on the Learn from the Masters. So the Master Collection Improved Menu, Learn from the Masters, and uh, YouTube Order. Okay, comments, questions, donations, see the description. Likes, shares, subscribes with the notification bell. All really appreciated. Thanks very much.